trying to relish the moment, you know what I'm saying? Because you all know what's fucking coming. Tom. Adam. And Dex. These three brothers... Y'all know, I always do my research before I react to a video. I'm always reading the comments, trying to understand, you know, what the video is about. I don't, you know, listen to the video. I don't do none of that. I just read the comments, you know what I'm saying? Before I listen to it so I can get, you know, my assessment of the video as far as uh, comments is concerned. Not as far as the video. And I have to say, it's, it's been a lot of positive, but it's also been negative. A lot of people, you know, put it like this. When you get a independent artist, a rapper, a singer, whatever, to express their opinions on certain things that's going on in the world, a lot of people take it in the wrong way. You, you know, you hear, well, they should be using a platform to say better things. They shouldn't be talking about what's going on in the world, shit like that. They shouldn't be having their opinion on shit, which is kind of stupid to me because everyone has a right to say what, what the fuck they want to say. That's why we live in America. And, you know, these three are real deep when it comes to issues of this world you know it could be anything it could be economic issues it could be social issues it could be personal issues it could be anything these three always say something about it and their words speak volumes for real they be right on point and a lot of people don't agree with the things that they have to say about what's going on because you got a lot of motherfuckers who are afraid to speak on certain issues. But these three brothers are not. It's proven fact. Just go watch. They, if y'all not fans, if y'all don't know who these three are, go watch some of their videos. Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun, and Dax. Serious motherfuckers, for real. But we finna jump on this shit, y'all. <sighs> but before we get into that. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, R.D.S. And let's go. All right, y'all, let's go. It's called Black and White. Of course it is. Everything is black and white these days. For real. Alright, let's go, y'all. It's the big beverage sale. This Thursday through Sunday at High V. Stock up for Labor Day with Hop in the truck. Ten of my buddies are already drunk. We don't go. I'm thinking I had time to get myself ready. Tom just jumped right in it. Damn it, Tom. Hop in the truck. Ten of my buddies are already drunk. We don't go nowhere that doesn't have liquor and cigarettes. Ride a mechanical bolts in the club. We like to hunt. Leave with a gun. Come back tomorrow. We covered in blood with a bucket of guts. We all talk for the fuck. We pop in the clutch. We ain't stuck in the mud. I'm the white boy with the baseball bat. Bunch of face tattoos and a NASCAR hat. In a backyard like Scrap Dark. He said, I'm the white boy with the baseball hat with the NASCAR tattoos or something. What the fuck did he say? Hold on. Leave with a gun. Come back tomorrow. We covered in blood with a bucket of guts. We all tough for the fuck. We pop in the clutch. We ain't stuck in the mud. I'm the white boy with the baseball bat, but your face tattoos and a NASCAR hat in a backyard like Scrap Yard. Got a glass jar full of tobacco that's blacker than asphalt. Rolling with hundreds of crackers who acting like animals. They cannot handle their alcohol. We the white boys from the backwoods and the bad hoods and the trailer park trash at pack guns. When I was younger, they taught me to struggle and hustle like 200 bikers. And they were my brothers. We coming for blood and you running for cover. Ridiculous. All right, Tom. So, so now. Okay, okay. We get it. We get it, my dude. I'm not that good at picking up fast bars, you know what I'm saying? I'm real bad with that. I'm not like these fucking motherfuckers out here who can 
pick up on that shit. I have to go back over and over and listen to the shit. I ain't know you had it in you, Tom. What's going on? Let me take that back. Sorry, y'all. I gotta play this back again. I like the Eminem shirt. I'm feeling that, y'all. Have liquor and cigarettes, ride a mechanical boat in the club. We like to hunt, leave with a gun. Come back tomorrow, we covered in blood with a bucket of guts. We all tough for the fuck, and we pop in the clutch, we ain't stuck in the mud. I'm the white boy with the baseball bat, but your face tattoos and a NASCAR hat in a backyard like scrap yard. Got a glass jar full of tobacco, less blacker than asphalt. Rolling with hundreds of crackers who acting like animals, they cannot handle their alcohol. We the white boys from the backwoods and the bad hoods and the trailer park trash at pack guns. When I was younger, they taught me to struggle and hustle like 200 bikers, and they were my brothers. We coming for blood, and you running for cover. Addicted to drugs and the dark, we're younger than anyone leaving the club. We go dumber than ducks. We got mullets and butters and multiple gunners that come in. And hummers you under the rubber you'll never recover <gasps> look at dax like what the fuck is i think these three going i know they you know doing a look you know collaboration thing but i think they gonna try to outdo one another for real because tom is going in tom is going in usually that's how dax be you know with the fast i know tom does it too calhoun does it too but damn everyone knows dax that's his thing so okay tom i, I see you let me My take that back. For blood and you run for cover, addicted to drugs in the gutter, and drugger than anyone leaving the club. We go dumber than thugs. We got mullets and butters and multiple gunners that come in and hummers. You under the rubber, you'll never recover. <gasps> Chain smoking, my lungs hurt, my neck red, got some burns. Bumping them and then we all know the words. Bunch of white boys flipping hella birds. He'll really, really don't care if you like them. Little bit of moonshine fire inside him. Kill him in a minute, don't care who's fighting. You don't want to trip on the kids of Vikings. Camo and mullets and cowboy hats out in public. Got ammo stashed in my cousins and cashing addicts and cupboards. They all this and we don't listen. Can't hear it no more. We gone fishing, they gone missing. I told y'all before. I be on some white people. Hanging out the window <laughs> Jumping out the plane, no parachute. Okay, so get the sooner. I ain't learned from school. Always ditch Ferris Bueller. Screw your little trip. Ooh, I ain't learned nothing from school. Always ditch Ferris Bueller. Ooh, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Y'all gotta watch Ferris Bueller. Shout out to Ferris Bueller. That's one of the greatest 80 movies ever. I'm telling you, check that shit out. If you're a fan of ditching school, if you did that shit back in the day, because that was a big thing back in the day, you know, if you ditch school, use the shit. Use the shit. Today, it's a little bit, I don't know how it is today, but you do it back in the day. You go back the next day, people be like, you, you like a king. Condition school, that was hard to do back in those days. And when you do it, you're a king, you know what I'm saying? A shout out to Ferris Bueller. One of the best, uh, I guess I can say, the kids genre type movie. I don't know. I guess you can consider it that. But that's when you know you had 16 candles. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh... Uh, what's that movie? I know Molly Ringwald. She played in a lot of the fucking movies. Emilio Estevez. They played in a lot of movies. Uh, There's a couple other motherfuckers out there. But shout out to that movie, y'all. For real. The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast. No, not The Breakfast Club. What the fuck is it called? When they all serve detention. The fuck was that movie called? I can't get it right now, but shout out to all those 80s movies, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Square body over there, cooler. Every white boy riding with me over there, shooters. I'm the white boy with the monster pump. Since shotgun with a pop the truck, the northern and a monster off the jump. I'm up, I rock a lot of guns. This ain't soccer, but watch them run. Shoot him in the lung, need oxygen. Hop and blood like he up and does. Talk too much till his coffin shuns. I'm never gonna back up too much ammo. We got hammer, do the battle. Head my fights right on the gravel. Back in the day, we used to handle like men, but now we're canceled. Look at us like states for cancel. Look at them like poyo pants on dumbass. Oh, let me take that back. He ain't lying. Back in the day, motherfuckers used to handle shit like man. That shit is like garbage. Like motherfuckers don't even do that shit no more. It's straight this shit here. Motherfuckers don't do these no more. That's how it was back in the day. That's how motherfuckers settled shit. Even in school. You know, if you see a big ass fucking crowd of kids at like a school, like a big ass crowd, that means one thing and one thing only. Some something going on in the middle of that circle, the middle of that crowd, a fight, a one on one fight. All the kids used to just run, get together and wait and watch the motherfuckers just duke it out. Right in that little small little circle. That's just how it used to be, man. Motherfuckers don't do that shit. You don't even see that at all no more. You don't. Shit has changed. Them like pull your pants on dumbass kids ain't got no answer. 
also looked up to dudes with tattoos and rap music, bad moves and abuse in my past, acting stupid. I used to looking up to dudes with tattoos and all this bullshit like looking up to all these rappers that ain't that ain't it that ain't who you supposed to be looking up to if they ain't delivering a positive message about you know society about how you should be living your life about what's going on in this world you shouldn't be admiring someone like that for real but that's all you see these young kids that's what they look up to you know what i'm saying that's just what it is See me losing all my guys got tattoos on the face. They did the time they got jammed. What the hell's a blue check? They ain't got no Instagram. Mm. Ask around, everyone knows. They might think that I care, but I don't. I'll be out so white people hanging out the window of a truck, yelling, I don't give a fuck. White people. Every time they see me pulling up, they be like, oh my god, he be on some white people. Yes, yeah, segregated, but I'm still in the mix. I've been here it go. Here it go. Segregated, but still in the mix. Here we go. Oh, let me. Yes, segregated, but I'm still in the mix. I've been with time before you got cancer for speaking the truth about the world and exposing it for what it actually is. I see race as an issue. I'm running it back to the government to tell them this is a democratic, liberated, conservative, patriarchy dipped in action, affirmative hit song. Ooh. Give me a check. State that I'm in is my mind is way deeper than color. I ain't thinking blue versus red. I'm in control. Consider that I'm carrying more than you know. One in the chamber that's ready to blow. Right at you pushes who claiming you wrote. I'm going to keep praying that you get exposed. <laughs> I'm not abiding by rule that you set for me. I'm not that mad at the past. I mean, it was only a couple of centuries. Well, actually, I'm pissed, but won't let that be my identity. So, on behalf of all blacks, I forgive and don't want to be enemies. Just like Ooh. Ooh. Let me take that back. One in a chamber that's ready to blow. I think we all carrying one in the chamber that's ready to blow. For real. I think we all going living that life. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, you know, we just one little step away from just going off. One step away from shit just triggering. You know what I'm saying? Man. This some serious shit, y'all. This some heat right here. I'm just going to let it play out now. It was only a couple of centuries. Well, actually, I'm pissed, but won't let that be my identity. So on behalf of all blacks, I forgive and don't want to be enemies. Just like you're sorry and talk to me nice. This is comedic. If you get offended, that's a reflection of your own life and how you failed to live it right. So it's not black versus white. It's wrong versus right. Because color is just a result of these multiple factors that we didn't choose. I mean, mom, dad, race, religion, things we're born into. Generational curses that get undone once we undo moves. See life from a different view beyond our own skew. Manipulated by the news. Crude, true things that used to confuse the mass. Put us in social classes, separated by percentages, paid for taxes, income brackets, clothes, cars, shoes, size of asses. I better try to blackmail me once I black out all these demographics and push past the stereotypical average and get blackballed and they cut all my traffic. Oh my god, he be on some black people. I'm hanging out the window of the drugs, screaming, I don't give a f black people. Every time they see me pulling up, they be like, oh my god, he be on some white people. That's gonna cause a stir, y'all. This shit gonna cause a stir, y'all. This. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, man. <sighs> Gotta put my head down, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. If you all don't get the message that they are trying to deliver in this video, you all don't get it. I didn't pick up on everything that was said. That's why I'm about to listen to this shit again as soon as I'm done with this. You know when you get these three on the track, it's going to be some shit, some serious shit being said. Ah. Black and white. 
it's a black and white issue. It's going to steady be a black and white issue. It ain't going to never end. That's the messed up thing about all this shit that's being said. All these uh, artists that's, you know, talking about certain issues, rapping about certain issues, singing about certain issues, what's going on in the world. I don't think it's going to put a dent in shit. Because motherfuckers can't, don't want to wake up and see what's going on out here. Motherfuckers don't want to see it. Motherfuckers don't want to hear it. Motherfuckers don't want to surround themselves with positivity. Some motherfuckers just love that negative shit. Like, we, it's 2023. We still living in an age of segregation. That's mind-boggling to me, for real. Everything that has happened with so many people that's dying from either, uh, you know, from gunshots, from diseases, from being in the wrong place at the wrong time, from, you know, it it's stress, pills, alcohol, I mean, and, man, motherfuckers just don't want to wake up. For real, they don't. And I don't think it's going to change. It could be the year fucking 3,000. We all to be gone by that time, but it's still going to be going on. You're going to have motherf- you're going to have the Adam Calhoun's the McDonald's and the Dax of the world still rapping about this shit. Motherfuckers gonna be talking about what's going on in this decade. A hundred years from now. Like how we talk about what went on a hundred years ago, fifty years ago. Motherfuckers gonna be doing the same thing a hundred years from now, talking about what's going on now. Compared to what they're going through. That's just how it is. It's a never ending thing, you know what I'm saying? But it's just it's just fucked up for real. But hit me up in the comments and let me know how what y'all think. How serious you think this shit is. Do you did you enjoy the reaction? Did you enjoy the video? I know y'all probably did. Shout out to uh Hog Family Hangover Gang. Y'all know how it is. I already know y'all gonna check this reaction out. And if it's any like uh and I'm still my recording shit is still kinda fucked up. So I apologize for that. I just can't figure it out, y'all. I've tried everything. I got to get someone in here that knows about this electronic shit, for real. Because it ain't me. Uh, but uh, as always, thank y'all for tuning in. And make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and click that bell. Your boy ain't going nowhere. I'm here to stay, you know what I'm saying? So like you see on that screen there, peace, love, and deuces.